Hello everyone and welcome to episode 4 of Sonic Gomez. Previously Sonic and Tails were doing some diamond hunting. Sonic had to climb a big ass tree to get one and a lot of crazy shit happened with the Chaos Diamond and now Shadow enters the fray. You could have come to my office and said hi. Didn't have enough time. Where's the objective's location? Well, you're on the right track. Is there any information on the incident that happened there? Uh-huh. I found out that the outbreak was from two Chaos Emeralds. Apparently, the stones were out of contact for way too long and started causing havoc. Shadow? Are you listening to me? Yes, Rouge. Continue tracking my signal. I'm on my way. Shadow, the jungle is rotting. Does the doctor have anything to do with this? I see the remains of Eggman's robots. He's been here. That would have been cool if the motorbike section was actually playable, but yes, uh, Modi Jungle. Honestly, not that bad of a stage here. Actually, I had a decent time here, so similar to White Jungle in a lot of ways. <coughs> where, where did this damn fall come from? <laughs> uh, similar to White Jungle in a lot of ways, not that much of a emphasis on speed here and the platforming is not that bad either so I mean this stage here is not perfect because it is due to near precise platforming but not one that I would think is egregious enough where you have to be that precise so, in sections like these, yeah, like this, boosting is A-OK, -okay, but for, you know, platform extensions, what it used to be. Um, I do not recommend boosting at all, especially around areas like these, on these pillars here. In fact, um, if it comes down to it, um, resort to Chaos Dash to get better distance. I honestly don't recommend boosting in this area at all. So for the time being, just make good use of Shadow's Double Jump here and all the terrain and you should be good. On such as like those. And also, um, homing attack on these plants here. I actually found footage of, of him homing attacking on these and it's kind of funny. Because uh, as he was homing attacking on these, uh, he started looping around one of them. <laughs> I don't know why that is, and I am aware of some of the glitches of this game, but um, so far with my experience, um, the only gripes I have with it are some design choices. I mean, just look at the tree palace. Oh dear god, the tree palace. I mean, I know I made it look like next to no problem at all. I'll bite um, the poor rank and the backtracking trying to get that one red ring, but yeah, no, tree palace. What the hell were they thinking? That is not how you design a tree level, but here, I actually dig what this uh, whole area was about. Um, hidden switches to raise platforms and 
relying on yeah these to traverse through um, from one area to the next. The camera actually showing you what is being activated, and I don't think it's. This combs look like they can be raised somehow. Um, I don't really think that. Um, this whole stage is difficult that much. At some points, it is possible to just move around leisurely. And yeah, oftentimes there are those where you gotta watch your footing, especially on areas like these. Yeah, and I think, yeah, had a bit of a problem trying to get on a vine or a rail to grind on. But, yeah, other than that, not that bad, and I don't think it's that easy to get lost either. You know, as long as you find uh, areas that Shadow can go to, then in the end, you know, that's all that matters. As long as you know that you're going the right direction. Yeah, I think it was around here where I saw that footage of him just circling around those plants. Hilarious stuff. And I know that when it comes to platforming, puzzles aren't really the best genre to um, mix with currently, that recently. But, yeah, um, honestly, oh jeez. Yeah, that one took me by surprise, trying to get those ten rings. Not that much of a pace breaker either, because rarely does Shadow ever stop here, and I really like that um, Echidna statue. Kind reminds me of Chronicles a little bit. And also, one thing I do like about this sound in particular, um, I don't know if it's the same sound, but I think it borrows a sound from the the vocal yell that you hear from Green K from Sonic Riders. I figured that was like a nice touch to the soundtrack itself. Being a you know jungle area and all. So though it has a great emphasis on platforming and not much speed, I still dig this. Like this is not a deal breaker by any means. Not even the poison fro uh, fog mechanic that they do here. Huh? You approaching me? And here, yes. Perfect use of Chaos Blast right here. I said it once and I'll say it again. This is Shadow fully realized. And yeah, scenarios like these actually prove it. So as long as you know how to work this guy, um, you should have next to no problem at all. Um, I don't think he ever took damage here either, so... I like this part of the song here. Yeah, so... Even so much as boosting a little, I still think that the message, uh, maintain your boost as you will need it, um, would have been nice to have here, because I honestly don't think that boost is that much of a requirement. Unless he's going for the home stretch, like right here. Not a bad stage at all, you know, not really mind-blowing by any means, but I, I had such um, a chill time with this one, so this one, this one's alright. <coughs> this region again. Rouge, I don't think the presence of an emerald inside this temple. Doctor has beaten us to it. Oh, good lord, this voice. <laughs> uh. And uh, speaking of the voice acting, um, I did hear what happened with the shadow voice actor. And, um, yeah, I'll get to when I get to it, but I feel it for the man.
monster hungry for a Chaos Emerald. <laughs> why am I not surprised? Yeah, why am I not surprised either? <laughs> Partly because he actually deep down enjoys fighting monsters like these. I mean, just into his dialogue when he's fighting some monsters in 06, but... The Vortex! Um, another... Quite possibly the most infamous boss in this entire game. But, um, the best way I know how to handle this guy is um, using homing attacks when it's not using its hands. And when it is, uh, rely on Chaos Spears to attack from the distance. The one thing you gotta watch out for is when it starts using its hands, because it really knows how to use them hands, though. Ah, uh, the water's rising. I need to get out of here fast. This ends the first phase of the fight, so now he's gotta get the hell out of here. With quick ease. And I'm also kinda curious what will happen if Sonic were to fight this thing, because Shadow can actually have not that much of a hard time due to his chaos abilities, specifically Chaos Spear, because just having the charge shot and getting close enough to it is enough for the Chaos Spear to uh, home in on the weak point. So I think this is where um, it becomes essential to use Chaos abilities to... This is take long enough. It's time to end this. Get high ranks. Also, one thing I didn't really talk about, and that is focusing. By clicking down the, I think it's the left stick, you can focus on uh, the boss. But this presents somewhat of a problem because the game doesn't really tell you if you're focusing or not besides the camera angle. Like a simple reticle or a lock on would have been nice. But yeah, that part of the fight especially is quite infamous because you gotta make sure that you're away from him in order to make this fight as smooth sailing as possible. Wish you could do this in the game. Rouge, are you seeing this? I have no idea what that creature is. Strange things are happening here. Doctor. to follow him. And this will do it for episode 4 of Sonic Omens. So please stay tuned next time where Shadow enters the Cat and Mouse game as he chases after Eggman. I hope everyone else sees the problem here as much as I do. So yeah, the chase is on on the next one. So until then, look forward to it.